and welcome to my second attempt at a comparison between the Davis Mark III and the Mark 15 plastic sextant. I may include the Link A12 in the competition this time. But over the winter I had some problems with the index correction seemed to go way off and I'm not sure if I fixed it yet. So if you don't see it in the rest of the video, you'll know why. Um, I'm just now waiting for the sun to move into position and for the clouds to continue moving out and then we'll get started. So stand by for the exciting competition. Once again, I will be using the artificial horizon for this. Because of the positioning of the sun and the angles through the window, I'm going to start with the bubble sextant. 175539. 44 degrees in about five minutes. I'm going to take three sights from each sextant, average them out, and then we'll plot and see uh, how they come out. One of the problems with the Mark III is that the scale on the index only goes up to 100 degrees. And because I'm using an artificial horizon, I have to cut my measure, my sight in half. So right now, I'm getting about 88 degrees and some odd minutes on all of my sextants. And uh, like I said, this only goes up to 100 degrees. So in the middle of the summer, when the sun is at its highest, I can't use the Mark III because it's too, the sun is too high, it goes off the scale. The Mark 15 scale uh, index goes up to approximately 135 or 140. Uh, even this one in the middle of the summer when the sun's at its peak, um, it'll be too high to use it at noon. So something again to be aware of. Right, let's uh, do the math and see how this worked out. Well, the results are in the humble little Mark III one again. <laughs> the red line is the Mark III's line of position. The green dot is my actual position and it's ba basically right on. The uh, Bubble sextant, the Link A12, is the graphite line there, the black line, and that's about five and a half or six miles out. And the Mark 15, the green line, that's about six or so, six and a half out. So none of them are way off, but uh, the humble little Mark 3 once again kicks butt. So there you go. It's not elegant, it's not expensive, it's not complex, but the simple little humble Mark III sextant does the job again.